What do we have here? Our husbands traveled $2 billion to Mexico. And we would hmm. see these houses full of money. Damn. $5 million cash was secretly stashed in 2009 and 10 alone in their house. Secretly, the they knew. According to the court records, they citing knew. a federal drug enforcement report. Damn. Apart from the violence, if the cartels around the world have one thing in common, What's that? it's the influx of millions of dollars. Oh, when half bars. the world is buried in debt, these cartels have found smooth ways of earning easy black money through various illegal Why gotta be black extortions. Money? and live oh, the racism. life of kings. But where do they keep all this money? Banks typically do not want to register their accounts as they mm. don't wish to keep any associations with the cartels. So where they do cartel already do worse like than El that. Chapo and narco lord Pablo Escobar You know what? I always, I always Let's find out to... from two cartel wives who decided to spill the beans after their husband's arrest. Spill the beans? The Flores the... Margarito and Pedro Flores mm -hmm. were considered the biggest traffickers in Chicago. Yeah. And tons of illegal substances from El Chapo. Tons. He might have even been his biggest customer and helped no, him significantly to grow his empire by smuggling narcotics. The, in in Chicago the brothers is ran a $2 billion narco ring and worked very closely with El Chapo until Word. one day they decided to turn against him and exposed him to law enforcement. That's so lame. Flores that sucks. Are Chicago's most notorious twins, raking in millions as El Chapo's emissaries here before they flipped on the boss and took him down. So how did they flipped do the on the boss and took Pedro him down? Pedro and Margarito took the risk and secretly recorded their conversation with El Chapo. They Wah. turned in the recordings, along with valuable information about the cartel lord's operations, yeah, which helped say. U.S. law enforcement file a strong case against him, deciding to help the U.S. Mm. government didn't quite... That's probably why the game was the so punishment. garbage when I went up there because of these niggas. The Flores brothers were sentenced to 14 years in jail in 2015. As the oh, Flores yeah, brothers why. did their time in prison, their wives came forward to speak openly about the amount of money... How are you going to tell exactly whose wives it is and then hide their identities? Investigations brought out the wives' involvement in hiding the money. We know who they married. To. I can Google that right now. To return it, and law enforcement decided to press charges. Their joint account amounted to cash deposited under the floorboards of a house, more than five million dollars in cash that their wives are now accused of pilfering. In a public interview, what is in 2015, See, they just showed their face the right Flores now. Flores brothers, Mia and Olivia Flores, made a rare appearance and spoke about the vast fortune that their husbands they both had look stupid. Their they both have stupid faces. A faceless interview was recorded, keeping their privacy. <laughs> the brave women didn't shy away from giving us the real brave. numbers and mentioned how normal it was for them to see money stashed in every They got more of, of it somewhere they else. They have, you know, a room full of money, mm -hmm. one to two million dollars sitting in the room Damn. for us to grab at our expense and. That was usual. Not only that, the brothers hmm. supposedly employed people who worked in shifts just to, to count the money. the money. They had counting machines in oh their home that could God. count a million dollars in a couple of hours. Hours? That's the kind of money that they had. Damn. But did fortune come with benefits for these women? Did the yes. wives yes. of the cartel henchmen have a good life? Were they yeah, able to enjoy yeah, the they money did. their husbands earned? Yeah, or did they yeah, always have they to did. remain in fear of getting caught? And stay indoors. They still got money income, right now. They probably hands. both got at least. Interestingly, the wives to the floor at five million admitted that they enjoyed their life to the fullest. Duh, they got cameras. The they got brothers, pictures. Let the women live the life they desired. We were spoiled. We ate well. We traveled. Why don't they take the filter off the voice if we are know who they are? A month on the beach and just live Damn. life to its fullest. Vacation sure for a month. like the life out of someone's dream. Vacation from you what? Think that only you didn't the do Cielo shit. Cartel lords or their henchmen had wads of cash lying around in their bedrooms. You'll be surprised mm. to know that the list runs longer. Notorious narco lord Pablo Escobar had billions of dollars that he stashed away in his house at one point of his reign. In the billions. mid 80s, More he had than become one? one of the best substance smugglers and was this earning hard cash substance. very fast. He bought multiple houses in Colombia and Mexico with that money, but still had billions That's to fire. spare. His estimated worth at that time was $25 billion. Damn. Making the income actual money. So how did he hide the dough? He started with the place where most black money goes, the black Swiss bank. Sink? After putting a portion of it in his bank accounts, he started storing it in containers Fuck inside his house. A bank because the accounts had all reached their limits. 
He shrink-wrapped his money and stashed it in plastic barrels and metal boxes. The discovery of another you can't even do that. That's what happened in there. I would have just gave it away. Construction crews found it Monday. You them twenty-five billion. But when all of I would have rebuilt the whole Columbia. Pushed him to find more creative ways to use his property to stash the excess money. He started using the foundation and structure of his house to hide it all. He would drill holes in the walls and floors and stuff them with cash. A portion of the That's hidden crazy. money would later be found by Escobar's nephew. Nicholas Escobar drilled a hole in one of the walls in Escobar's apartment in Medellin and uncovered a whopping $18 million. <sighs> Alongside that fortune, the nephew found some other hidden valuables. Apart what from else? the trash bag Jules? full of money, Nicholas found a gold pen, satellite phones, a typewriter. What's a, a satellite phone? That was still undeveloped. All safely nestled this nigga found the wall the Nigga, hell, room. put that back. I don't even want my finger press on that. Money. Nicholas claims that he got a vivid vision of where to find it. But a vivid vision. His claims. It's a well-known fact nah, he that told he worked you, for God. his uncle and knew where Pablo hid his money. It was all too easy for him Stupid. to come back Nigga said and a look vision. exactly where the dough had been stashed. And voila. Authorities say that whatever portion of Pablo Escobar's money that have been found so far, what ten up? times that amount, is still out there. So <sighs> waiting to be found. You might be asking, why do authorities go for the wives instead of chasing someone in a more important position within because the cartel? What could these wives tell me? Because I don't know. know about their husband's business. But there's a logical strategy. Because I wouldn't this. tell my girls. Law enforcement agencies often target the cartel wives or women associated with the cartel for intelligence. Even if they're not directly so they probably connected with the cartel with the dealings, money. they can sometimes provide valuable information as they're always around the cartel lords. They can Tell also direct law know. enforcement agencies to hidden stashes of money as they have knowledge of everything stored in the house. But now you must be asking, That's so why weird. do the wives do it? Why would they risk their husband's yeah, life tell me. reputation and sell them out like this? What oh, because they they're selfish. Them? There are various reasons And because they knew they were cheating on them cases, the whole time. Watch. cooperate with law Watch. enforcement to seek protection and to get away from the criminal lifestyle it's or to no. avoid legal consequences themselves when Duh, husbands yeah, get that caught. Too. The Flores wives acknowledged that the you money bought them a me? fulfilling I knew you were cheating on me. can only imagine, and they were appropriately um, yeah, spoiled, yeah. but only Females for a short that. period. They eventually wanted peace and stability. Peace and wanted stability. wanted to build a normal family. But at the end of the day, we uh, wanted to denounce that life, and we knew what mattered to us was love and family and simplicity when cartel wives if decided that was to the case you would have information about hidden money they helped law enforcement agencies you would have used your feminine any assets they might have bought with it but ratting out the cartel lords comes with a disadvantage the whole yeah. cartel might come after the whistleblower and their lives are the uncertain the snitch whistleblower after the flores brothers testified against el chapo their wives expressed their fear as they were convinced that el chapo would find them and make them pay for the betrayal. Once the U.S. government yeah. had what they needed, we knew our life was going to change. to Canada. We Can't we even move up there. We going to have to hide for the rest of our lives, and that is like the worst imaginable feeling you can ever have. Mia yeah, and Olivia yeah. have both been charged with money laundering and are trying what? hard to avoid prison. That sucks, their husbands dude. have completed their prison time, but now it might be their turn to get <laughs> a slammer. Now, as Pedro and Margarito That's Flores lame. reportedly ended their prison time, Mia and Olivia are fighting to make sure they don't go to prison. As both wives... <laughs> the 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 conviction of everyone was smart. Wow. Mia Flores has claimed oh. that she has obtained an immunity deal with the U.S. government, but a prosecutor announced that it's not true and might be a futile attempt on her end to save herself from prison. Man, you know added, you did that, that girl. Decide whether to press charges against her. Mia also claimed that she had given the government details about her husband's narcotics business. Of course she did. account of how much money he made. She also gave $4 million to an unnamed criminal attorney. Damn. To handed gosh. over the money to the government. Says that in Stupid. She told the they didn't even know about that. Oh, yeah. Drug dealing business yielding so much cash they needed a moving van to haul it when Pedro Flores began cooperating. So you going to get claims this as significant proof of being granted an immunity deal and pleaded with what? law enforcement not to press charges. The Flores wives say it is among the proof they were given immunity years ago. 
and shouldn't be prosecuted now. However, in 2023, <sighs> the court found her guilty of spending a huge portion of the money held under her floorboards for various needs and recreational activities. The that... money was supposed to go back to the government, and Flores spent it illegally. Mia Flores begging for mercy. What else was she supposed to do? Today, She's a victim asking too. Asking for no prison time, even after That's messed up. That she illegally spent a small fortune in drug money made by her husband Pedro, who turned on his boss. Well, they should That's have messed up. So the government could do it, but Mia we can't do Olivia it. Flores well, at least she's paying sales taxes. of the cartel and attended interviews on TV. Oh, they also wrote books ass. about their husbands and the secret lives stupid of the cartel members. This earned them the publicity that they desired. They also became greedy and spent around $869,000 on vacation. Oh yeah, luxury, that was, that was stupid. That was stupid. Definitely ruined their impression they started the, the cleaning business. That, that was helped. smart. Putting herself out there, uh, making the most of this one on vacation. This one's a cartel 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 That can only hurt at a sentencing before yeah, a federal dummy. judge. It almost certainly hurt here too the attempt to get cheap fame and get lavish clout. expenditure exactly. didn't go unnoticed by the authorities <laughs> and as a result mia flores has been sentenced to three and a half years that's not bad trying to be flores cartel kardashian nine year sentence while she requested probation and strict home confinement olivia flores He's gonna lock her in a home with millions of dollars she's gonna try to order off of amazon even after of spilling dirty narco secrets the cartel wives got themselves into trouble because of their reckless life choices even though their husbands have completed their prison time, it's uncertain when they'll be able to get back to their normal life. Both Silly. the wives have sworn that the Flores brothers have changed, left their unlawful lives in the past, and are now working with the DEA towards creating a better future. This can surely buy them some moments of stability what? and happiness, but they're still under the risk of being attacked by other cartel members yeah. for their betrayal. Unfortunately, the Flores brothers and their families will have to live the rest of their lives with this fear. Yeah, I don't think the, the I don't think criminals like that are right. wife. Let us know in the comments are, below. Are don't forget to like the video to show right, support. Man, this subscribe to our channel piece. and press the bell to get notified of future uploads. See you soon with the next exciting story.